So here we have two World War II magazines called The War Illustrated. Both of them are from the UK. This one was sold in Canada and it appears this one was probably sold in the UK as the price is in British. So this is volume 4, that's volume 5. As you can see the fronts are very different. And they're both edited by Sir John Hammerton, who also edited The War Illustrated from World War One. Here we have some diaries right here, and we have a picture from London and all the bombing. There is quite a bit about London because from 19, but this is from May 1941, where the war in the Balkans and Greece was going on. So here we have some titles here about the war in Yugoslavia, and in the, and here we have a diagram of the war in Greece and how it was going right now. So, there is a lot about the Battle of Britain, though, as the war wasn't going that well for the Allies. In 1941, as Russia and the U.S. were both still neutral, so it says Britain and the Empire against Germany and Italy. Here we have some naval battles right here. And some stuff about Greece and French East Africa. And here we have a picture of some captured U-boat prisoners right here, and it, as you can see, they really don't want to look at the camera. It's kind of funny, actually. And here we have something quite interesting. That's actually an American aircraft that the Americans were giving to the British. So, even though they're technically neutral, they are still helping out the British. Here we have some more naval ships. And here we have an advertisement saying, Young woman should help out with the war effort, because all the men are in war right now. And here we go, here's an eyewitness account of British bombers attacking Hamburg with their Wellingtons. So here we have some war diaries, that's a picture of Winston Churchill down there, walking through the streets of Swansea with his hat up. And here we have some advertisements on the back. Oh, smokers fur, I'm not quite sure what that is, but it sounds pretty awful. So now we'll go on to the second one, which is volume number 5, and this one is quite different as it was from April 17th, 1942. So by that time, both Russia and the US were in the war, so this one is mostly about the Pacific and the battle in Burma and Java. So here we have, talking about Hong Kong and Naking, where some horrible massacres occurred. And here we have some, oh well that's kind of interesting, it's a Japanese bombers attacking Australia. Here we have some pictures of the damage received. And here we have a map of India and where the Japanese have advanced through Burma. And here we have a story about the fall of Rangoon. So as at this point of the war, the war really wasn't going that well in the Pacific because Japan was just about to, was still advancing at this point and it, the Japanese Empire was sort of at its peak. This was after the attack on Pearl Harbor. So here we have a picture of how the Japanese attacked the Dutch East Indies. And here we do have some pictures of some German naval ships right here, including the aircraft carrier that was actually never built, called the Graf Spree. Spree. And here we have a picture for um, Australian propaganda right here telling Australians that you have to fight or the Japanese are going to invade you even though it never happened and it never was going to happen here we have some scenes of savagery from New Guinea as Japan was also invading New Guinea at this point so here we have some pictures of India and their dreams of becoming <laughs> an old dominion which would happen in 1947 Here's some more pictures of India. I guess they didn't want to talk too much about the works, it wasn't doing that well. So here we have a battle in the uh, Java Sea where they're saying the Japanese had 107 warships. Apparently that was a pretty big deal as it's in that title. Here we have some pictures of some Dutch warships that were sunk during the battle. And here we have some pictures of the Russian front, including a peasant here watching her home burn up. It's a pretty horrible scene. <laughs> All taken during the winter. Here we have some machine gunners and some snow troops. And 
Here we have a picture of Tobruk right here and all the grave sites and some more war diaries over on that page. And here we have talking about criminals and some uh, talking a bit about the French resistance right here. And now we have some interesting pictures of British bombers who attacked French factories because, as you can see, they're building weapons for the Nazis, so they didn't want those. And here we have a cartoon here talking about how why it's a waste to use all that extra food and oil because all those poor fisher or um, merchant marine navies are paying for them when they're attacked by the submarines. Here we have some. Uh, eyewitness accounts about Rommel in North Africa and here we have some Lendlease picture of Lendlease material here heading to Russia through all that snow and that seems to be it thanks for watching